Hey guys, Doc, DocDetecting.com. You know what a blast I've been having with the new Gold Spot Scoop, affectionately known as the G Spot that I invented. So I want to do another little uh, experiment today. Um, what we have here is a standard old gold pan. You got a little dirt in here, right there. You put that in there. Over here we got a little, got a little black sand. As you can see, you put that in there. All right. So, oops, uh, take this with me. Take these two pans with me. Let's go over here and we'll begin our experiment. I'm actually using a tripod. I hope you guys are proud of me. That way you can actually see me when I'm uh, in frame. So, let me position this just a little. Let's get a little closer here. All right, so here's what the experiment's all about today. Is I have... In this little bag, this is 18 mesh gold. Uh, I'm sorry, this is not 18. This is the 18 mesh. 18 mesh gold, there's a half of a gram of gold in here. And here, this is uh, 14 mesh, I guess. And this is one gram. Okay, so I want to see how well this works as a dry panning sampling tool. I've already done some other uh, uh, videos in which we just put one nugget in it. But um, just for fun, I thought we'd do this. Okay, so after we uh, use the gold spot, we'll put it on the scale and see if we get one and a half gram back. Okay, so there goes that gold in there. Alright, that's the half gram of the 18 mesh. This is the 14 mesh. Now, I said that not only can this be used just like a regular treasure scoop like you use with your metal detector, but it can be used if you like to go out and crevice and work the bedrock and, and uh, scrape stuff out of the uh, scrape stuff out of the cracks and then uh, try to dry pan it. Okay, so let's take a look here. And I don't know if you can you can see the gold. I mean here's gold right here. All these little flakes right there are gold. Okay, so I'm gonna give this a little shake. Okay, we're gonna shake all the uh, shake all the uh, dirt and the, the black sand together, and then we'll just pour it in the scoop. Let's see how much we can recover. All right, now as I've always said before, you want to agitate because the agitation is what gets everything to settle to the bottom into that gold spot which is that channel. This channel right down here, as you can see, it's on both sides. So what happens is when you're working it back and forth, that dirt is going to be agitated and the gold's going to drop into that channel. All right, so you want to keep agitating. Now, when you're going to dry pan like this, you're going to have to do it like this, okay? All right, come back, keep agitating back and forth. And bump that against your hand. Do not do this. Don't jump it up and down because it, the gold will jump over the ripples. But the whole idea of this thing is to keep that gold down in that channel. And you already see what's happening. You see the black sand? So it is keeping the heavies back, but the black sand should give you some visual indication of, you know, whether or not you're bumping it a little too hard because that's sort of at the top and that's heavy and it should stay at the bottom. So I'm going to back this up a little and start doing a little finer bumping. Okay, because we want that black sand to stay in there because that's an indication of of the heavies and we want the heavies to stay now see what 
See what happens when you bump it just a little lighter? Those heavies are staying at the back, and that's what you want to accomplish to use this like a dry pan. And once you start to see that, start to see the black sand coming close to that largest ripple in the front, like it's now, see how that is? Okay, you want to go back and re-agitate. And then like I said, watch your bumps, little bumps. Now I'm starting to get black sand on my hand. Okay, but that's okay because the gold's heavier than the black sand, so we should be all right. And we'll see. Okay, now, I don't know if you can see this and that light on it, but. I'm starting to see there's a flake right there that's just gone over that second riffle. Here's flakes back here. There's another flake right there. Okay. So when you start seeing the gold, you want to be even more careful with your bumps. All right. So put that back there. Give another agitation. Okay. Okay, now I just saw gold go over that last riffle, which means I'm bumping too hard. It's actually, there's gold right in there, all right? So, I'll speed this up a little for you guys. It doesn't take forever, but... Okay, so, can you see the gold? Gold here, gold here. A you know, little, little gold in there. Okay, so actually try to do what you would with a gold pan, which is do it the other way, and that's just to, to try to get the black sand up here and then bump it like this. And you can see if you do it that way, you get that black sand move into one end and you get the gold moving to the other and then you can go in and go directly in with your, with your magnet try to clean it up as long as you can try to separate you know most of that uh, get that black sand separated from the gold because as you know when you go to use a magnet that magnet loves to pull the gold right along with it. All right, so I got pretty much of all the black sand gone, I think. Um, so let's weigh it again now. Okay, I teared the cup, so you can see it's at zero. All right, so we got uh, 1.34, and we started off with 1.5. So obviously a little loss. I think you would lose that much with a gold pan, but that's pretty darn impressive, I think, huh? So, but uh, so there you go. I know that uh, that took a while, but I thought it was a a good experiment. I actually wanted to see for myself. I haven't, you know, I haven't. Uh, practice doing this other than just playing around by the well, let's do something scientific where we actually weigh the gold first do this and see how much gold we recover that's not i don't think too shabby like i said it's obviously a, a good i mean for dry that's a good dry tool i think so now i gotta get the uh i gotta get whatever flakes i missed and uh locate them and and uh, give it back to to my buddy harrigan because he's the one that loaned me the gold and now I'm missing 0.16 grams. So, all right, Doc, DocDetecting.com. Stay healthy, guys. Uh, fortunately, hopefully, I mean, someday all this will pass. I certainly can't be too soon for me. Talk to you later. Doc, DocDetecting.com.